A few weeks before his retirement, we visited Ari Moorings, the last clay pipe maker in Holland. He showed us his gilded craft in his own workshop. It starts with the preparation of the clay. Little balls are rolled into a pipe shape. I am Ari Moerings, the last clay pipe maker in Holland. I start with inserting a needle to make the smoke channel. Now I place the clay into the mold and close it. Then I put the mold into the bench vice. Now I have to make a hole in the head. Remove the excess clay. And open the mold. Now I take the pipe out of the mold. Remove the wire edge. And I have to remove the needle now, because the clay will shrink during the drying process, making it impossible to remove the needle after the drying. The wet clay has to rest and dry for a while and stiffen up before I can take off the excess clay from the head of the pipe. The pipes will have to dry for about three days in this box. After that, they will be baked at a temperature of about 1000 centigrade. And this is the result. There are two types of pipes, the long ones for smoking at home or in the pub, and the short ones to smoke at work. The long ones give a better taste. To become a pipe maker, you had to be a guild member. You had to be at least 18 years of age and you had to pass an exam. When the guild accepted your membership, you received a personal guild token that had to be embossed in all the pipes you made. These tokens were found on the heels of the pipe, but sometimes also at the side. Special pipe hats were made for special occasions or to remember special persons or events. This pipe hat warns you how you will look like after too much smoking. This decoration appeared slowly as the pipe gradually got its tobacco color. A rich collection of pipes and pipe molds came together over the years. With the decline of the number of smokers, the pipes were successfully used as decorative elements in pubs and other places. Hand-painted fun pipes for tourists. Adrie Merling's collection and craft can be seen now in the city's museum in Gouda. And this concludes our visit to the pipe maker. 
See you in the museum. <laughs>